algebraic expressions are where you have expressions like uh, x and y. So let's understand the basic algebraic expression. Suppose you have an expression like 4x. The meaning of this is you can say this is 4 times a number. You're multiplying 4 to a number. So x is an unknown number and you're multiplying 4 to that number. This can also mean 4 times x is same as writing x 4 times or adding x 4 times or 4 lots of x. So how do we, where did we get this idea from? This is from number, suppose you have say 4 times 5. We know 4 times 5 is 20. But basically 4 times 5 is 4 lots of 5. This is 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5. So if you add 5 4 times you get 4 lots of 5. This is the same as 4 times 5. Same way 5 times 4 is also 20. So you can say this is 5 lots of 4. So adding 5 lots of 4. So 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4. Now this is one basic idea you need to understand. So this 4x means this is 4 lots of x. Okay, now other thing uh, and other expressions students don't understand is x divided by 2. So this is basically a number divided by 2. This line stands for divided, divided by 2. Okay, it's something say 15 over 2. This means 15 divided by 2. And of course you should know 15 divided by 2 or you can use a calculator which is 7.5. Okay, so let's see how to add and subtract algebraic expressions. As you know, you can add numbers. You can also add algebraic expressions. Okay, so let's start with a, a simple algebraic expression. Okay, say so how would you do say uh, 4x minus uh, plus 2x minus 3 plus 7. Now these are these are called like terms. Okay so this is 4 lots of x this is 4 lots of x plus 2 lots of x. Well 4 lots of x plus 2 lots of x is 6x. And negative 3 plus 7 is same as 7 take away 3, which is 4. And that's your answer. Okay, so let's take a few more examples. So how would you do, say, 6C plus 4D plus 2D plus 5C? Well, these two are like terms and these two are like terms. So it's a good habit to write the like terms together. So this is 6 lots of C plus 5 lots of C. So this plus sign, which is before this expression, goes with the term. So this both go together. So this is 6C plus 5C. And then this is plus 4C, sorry, plus 4D plus 2D. So now you've got 6 lots of C plus 5 lots of C plus 4 lots of D plus 2 lots of D. Well, that is how much? That is 11C plus 6D. Okay, what happens if you have got, say, let me do one more example here. So you have, say, 7C minus 8F minus 3c minus 2f. Okay, now here we got minus and plus together, so you have to be very careful. So, uh, draw, let me use a different color. So, this and this are like terms. This and this are like terms. Same way this, uh, I did put a, didn't put a sign here. 
what is this? Suppose let me put minus here. Okay, minus and this and this minus 6f and oops and these are light tips so let me get my so I'm going to rewrite this so this is so this you should understand this goes together if students read like this 7c and if there is a plus you write plus 2f no this, these two go together so you write like this so this is 7c take away sorry I made a mistake yeah uh, draw so these two go together so this is so these and these are okay so so this is 7c 7 lots of c take away 3 lots of c so this is one group of like terms and then you got minus 8f minus 2f okay so this is 7c take away 3c is 4c and minus and here is where you have to be good in with your integer adding integer so this is minus 2 f minus 2 so minus 2 take away sorry minus 8 take away 2 is negative 10 so this is minus 10 f okay so let's do one more and finish off with this so this is say how would you do say d plus 2c uh, minus 5c minus uh, 7d so again you have to group the like terms so this is d and minus 7d and these are other groups so I'll write like this so d and you have to write this goes together as I said so minus 7d and plus 2d 2c minus 5c so from one lot of d you're taking seven lots of d which is minus 6d and 2c minus 5c is minus 3c. Okay, and that's your final answer. Now let's look at multiplying and dividing algebraic expressions. So what is, say, 2a times 4b? So basically this means this is 2 times a times 4 times b. So basically you can multiply the numbers and multiply the letters separately. So this is basically 2 times 4 times A times B. So what is 2 times 4? Well, 2 times 4 is 8 times A times B is AB. So we write 8AB. So basically when you're multiplying algebraic expression, you multiply the numbers separately and multiply the unknowns separately and then you just write them together okay so if suppose the question is say 2a times 3d minus 4c well you can directly multiply the numbers so 2 times 3 is 6 6 times 4 is 24 am I right yeah and you just write the alphabets or the unknowns in generally in an alphabetic order so it is A D C is fine so writing in an alphabetic order it is A C D that's all okay so let's do a few more they also use in algebra they use dot for multiplication so you can have an example like this 5a times 3e times 2 F dot means times in in algebra so multiply the numbers so 3 times 5 times 3 is 15 15 times 2 is 30 a e f that's all okay now what would you do when you're dividing algebraic expression so let's take say 16 a b divided by say 4 
B. So well, you can do right like this. So this is basically you can divide the numbers and divide the expression. So you go 16, what is it? 16 divided by 4? Well, that is 4. And you've got AB divided by B. So B and B gets cancelled. So what is remaining is A. So your answer is 4A. That's pretty easy. So let's say if it is, let's use a different color. If it is say 9, 9 ABC divided by 15, 15 say BC. Okay, so yeah, what we do is first let's do 9 divided by 15. So, well, you can divide both 9 and 15 by 3. So, let's divide by 3. So, that simplifies to 3 over 5. And you can cancel the B's like this and the C's like this. So, the final answer is 3 over 5A. Or that is same as 3A over 5. Okay, so let me finish off with one more question. Suppose if it is a squared B squared C divided by uh, ABC. Okay, so well, this is basically A times A times the numerator. I'm going to write this in an expanded form. So this is A times A times B times B times C divided by A times B times C. So A and A can be cancelled, B and B can be cancelled, and C and C can be cancelled. Okay, so what is remaining? So you've got AB is the answer. Okay.